should the Detroit Lions trade DeAndre Swift? So, Jeff, I'll ask you the question. Should they trade him? Not healthy against Miami. I don't want to say he was on a snap count, but they just avoided him. If anything, Dan Campbell came out this morning and said that they gave him one too many carries, which was interesting considering I believe he had five. He had five carries. So... Should he have played? I mean, I don't... Should they trade Swift? Yeah. And again, he's not healthy. Had he played the whole season, your record of maybe is a little bit different. And maybe his value is much higher than it is now. But do you trade for him? And I would say today, no. Because I don't think I can get anything out of him. Bingo. And he's somebody I have under contract. Mm -hmm. Who, if by some miracle... He's healthy for the second half of the season, and he shows progress, and he plays at a certain level. Maybe I get something better for him in the off season. So I would answer that and say no, I wouldn't, and that would be my reason why, Jeff. No, I'm right with you. That's actually the same reason I was going to say. The value right now isn't worth trading him to me. I, I think Swift, we see how important he is when he's healthy. This offense is night and day. It really is. Um, although... They've looked good without him at times, like against Seattle, for example. They didn't have DeAndre Swift. Jamal Williams filled in just fine, but Jamal doesn't provide the things DeAndre Swift can do. My solution to this would be you keep Swift and you draft a running back this year. I'm not saying you draft him early, but you got to take a running back. And if you do allow Swift to walk or you trade him next year, that's different. But let's say he walks, you get that compensatory pick. I know it's for the following draft, but to me, it's just it's pointless to trade an asset that's that's not healthy that just coming off you know being banged up not playing well it's pointless to trade him now if you're going to trade him you're going to trade him when he's playing really well you can get the most out of him uh in terms of a trade value right now it's just to say trade him a lot of that to me is just comes from frustration i get it uh he hasn't been healthy at least for a full season last two years playing the running back position it's one of the hardest to do to be able to stay healthy through an entire season at his size too but we know how dynamic he is and i think if you wait to trade him you're going to get more for him because teams right now are looking at what you have in DeAndre, and it's a guy who can't stay healthy and is coming off back-to-back, -back not really impressive performances. And even when he's been here, the best case for me would be to let Swift finish out the season. Let's say he, he plays really well to follow the season. He plays really well to end the season. Then you trade him in the offseason if you want, or you keep him. To me, I, I, Swift is so important to this offense, I, I probably would not trade him. Or I would much rather just get a running back to help him. I don't think Swift's a guy, and we can all agree on this, you can give 20, 25 carries to. He's just he's not built like that. But if you bring in somebody else, or let's say you extend Jamal Williams, I'd be more in favor of drafting running back, but whatever. Let's say you extend Jamal Williams. I still think that Swift brings value to this team. And I think if he plays better, you can get more for him. So I'm with you, Adam. I don't think you trade him right now. I think his value is at an all-time low as of right now. So There is no value to him. He has more value on this team than he does to any other team because they have question marks. And you would be lucky to get maybe a sixth-round pick, I believe, in the open market right now for DeAndre Swift. Now, could that improve to a third? potentially in the future i think that's very aggressive and very optimistic because what could you get for him right now I, I think nothing if i'm a gm and i'm the i'm the eagles if i'm the buffalo bills you're getting a late pick i, I mean, would get right I, now? Would, I would toss you a seventh maybe a sixth two sixth maybe maybe i would give you that and i would take a chance and if he gets healthy great if he doesn't all right oh well that's not worth it for detroit no it's not and you want to talk about the deadline coming up. Who knows what the moves are? Who knows? But the reality is... DeAndre Swift has been... Uh, the reality has been a disappointment. Second round pick who continues to struggle to stay healthy. He's now in his third season. Last, or excuse me, next season will be his last season. Before his contract expires. So that's where my mentality is. I believe you can get the most value for him. Maybe a fourth, maybe a fourth round pick in the offseason if he finishes out and is healthy the rest of the year. Let's and go to let's go to the Woodward Sports chat. 
Funky says, Adam, do you think the reason Swift played against Miami was to see if he could do something so they could move him? No. Uh, I don't no, think so. I, I wouldn't want to showcase him the way they did. I know he caught that touchdown pass, but boy, he he didn't look right. He just didn't look right. He was always falling to the ground uh, prior to contact. It was it was tough to watch. I don't think anybody wants an injury prone quarterback. And Rob J literally back. just said it. Who wants an injury? prone running back for anything more than a fifth round pick and to me a fifth uh, trading swift for a fifth is just idiotic i, I well, would not do it that it can't be idiotic though because what can you get for him right so i agree with a chance for him to play better his potential and value right. but potential is just potential right he's never available he's always hurt and that's a tough conversation you need to have taylor decker having two false starts yesterday in the second half or excuse me sunday mm-hmm. unacceptable the offensive line that was your core your, your core foundation, what your identity was, slowly but surely you have moved away from. It's unacceptable.